Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and a brand new WWE 2K23 video as we dive back into the information from earlier today as well as some brand new information that has come to light thanks to the WWE 2K dev team. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our WWE 2K23 content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest WWE 2K23 news as well as all the latest women's wrestling news and so much more. With so much information, the real question is where do we begin? Early today, it was revealed by WWE and 2K that John Cena is the official cover star and focus for this year's game, with 2K unveiling a series of screenshots following the announcement. The first round of screenshots show several superstars making their way to the ring, including Bobby Lashley, who looks to be sporting his SummerSlam 2022 attire, Hollywood Hulk Hogan and Stone Cold Steve Austin in their classic attires, and this year's cover star John Cena, sporting his 20 years of Cena attire. From the screenshots, we can see that the Raw 2002 and WCW Nitro arenas once again make their return in the game. We then get our very first look at the first two female superstars of WWE 2K23 in the form of Bianca Belair and Rhea Ripley, who both arguably have pretty great models. Rhea Ripley looks to be sporting her SummerSlam 2022 attire, showcasing her new Judgment Day faction look. What I will say regarding Bianca Belair's model is that it doesn't look completely accurate to her WrestleMania 38 counterpart, but I'm hoping that, like last year, these could be early versions which are updated in the final product. From the screenshots, we can you can also see that WWE 2K23 comes with a brand new version of Monday Night Raw, which no doubt will soon be outdated when WWE decide to switch up the theming a week after the game drops. I joke, but it always happens. <laughs> Following on from that, we have the very first look at that highly anticipated debut of the War Games match type, with Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre facing off in the NXT arena. From the screenshots, it looks as though Drew McIntyre is also spotting his SummerSlam attire, which could be a common thread for multiple superstars in the game, so keep an eye out for that. It's worth noting that Becky Lynch, Liv Morgan and Ronda Rousey also competed on the SummerSlam 2022 card, so maybe put a pin in those as possible attires. As we take a closer look, we can see both Sheamus and Jey Uso waiting in the cages within the crowd, with the official press release stating that teams can be made up of teams of three or four, with the option to play both single and multiplayer. Throughout the day, the WWE 2K dev team have been participating in several interviews, giving a bunch of new information surrounding the highly sought after mode. During an interview with Screen Rant, Lionel Jinx explained that once the timer reaches its required time, a new team member is let out of the cage with the option to enter straight into the ring or require weapons from ringside is seen on WWE TV. When it came to the all-important weapons, Brian Williams confirmed that players can use weapons such as kendo sticks, steel chairs, baseball bats, the stop sign and most importantly, tables. Speaking of weapons, Brian Williams also confirmed that additional gameplay updates will now see the addition of taunting when holding a weapon, offering a new way to tell stories for players and creators alike. The team also confirmed that players will be able to fight on and dive from the top of the structure with springboard elements applied, which will allow players to traverse the rings. So far, the team have revealed that war games will be playable in three arenas with NXT and Survivor Series, as well as a soon to be announced secret arena. The first arena that comes to mind is the classic WCW arena, but I also wouldn't be surprised to see a My Rise arena used as well. Moving away from war games, we have the official confirmation of the My WWE trio, with My GM, My Faction, and My Rise all making their return. This time around, MyGM players will have the opportunity to compete against multiple general managers with up to four playable general managers at one time. Players will once again have the opportunity to play as their own custom general manager as well as even more iconic former WWE general managers. Thanks to a MyGM screenshot, we have the official confirmation of Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, Adam Pearce, Rey Mysterio, The Miz, Damian Priest and most importantly, Alexa Bliss. If the renders are anything to go by, it looks as though Alexa will be spotting her Monday Night Raw attire as seen over the last few months, which comes as no huge surprise. When it comes to My Rise, like last year, players will have the opportunity to play a male or female specific story, with this year's women's arc going by the name of The Legacy and the men's going by the name of The Lock. Like in previous installments, the mod will see players start out their WWE career as a rookie before being immortalised as a WWE legend. 
My faction once again returns to the WWE 2K series, with players this time around having the opportunity to showcase their factions online and compete in weekly towers. Thanks to a new screenshot, we have a quick look at some of the My Faction cards for this year's game with Tommaso Ciampa, Bron Breaker, Cruz del Toro and Asuka. Asuka looks to be sporting her 2022 attire from her run as Alexa Bliss's tag team partner who can also be seen in the screenshot. For the last few years, players have called from the rooftops for an update to the beloved universe mode with the devs seemingly finally answering the call. According to Jinx, this time around, players will have more control of what happens during matches with the ability to perform actions before the match even begins. In one example, Jinx revealed that if you want Bobby Lashley to shake hands with MVP, you have the option to do so, but you also have the option for Bobby Lashley to blindside MVP instead. Players now have the option to implement actions such as these, then sit back and see how the story unfolds between the superstars involved. Following on from Universe Mode, we finally have an update on this year's creation suite with the confirmation of the return of advanced custom entrances after their removal last year. Touching base on advanced entrances, Jinx said that players will have the ability to switch between the preset entrances, such as using Shotzi's tank on the stage before switching to a scooter, then hitting a pose like the rock in the ring. It was also confirmed that custom arenas will now be playable online with the ability to design custom arenas fit for your very own custom superstar with their own custom title. Whilst no real additions were confirmed for create a superstar, Jinx did say that custom superstars would look better than ever this year and look more in line with the preset superstars that are available to play in game. Lastly, and certainly by no means least, we had the official confirmation that female referees will finally make their debut in the series after fans begging for their inclusion over the last few years. Whilst there's been no word on if special guest referees will be an option, I would absolutely love to be able to create my very own female referee, purely so I can give her a slap when she doesn't reward me with a win. I'm not sure if we'll see a referee in the image of Jessica Carr or Aja Smith due to WWE and UK avoiding likeness, but one can only hope. Undoubtedly, there will be some information out there that we might have missed, and no doubt since we've recorded this video, even more information will have been released, so be sure to stay tuned because you never know what may be coming next. Later this evening, WWE and 2K promised a brand new look at WWE 2K23 as part of Raw's 30th anniversary, so be sure to tune in for all those goodies. I'll also leave a link in the video description below to both the Screen Run and Wrestle Buddies interviews, so be sure to check those out. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K23 content, hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel. You can also head on over to our official website www.revolution.com for all the latest WWE 2K23 news and so much more. Until next time, I've been The Revolution and I have one thing to say. War Games! War Games!